Today is Thursday, 2.17 p.m., and I am in a good mood. I just came out of the shower, and, you know, in my shower, I was thinking, I'm in such a good mood right now. It is spring! I actually feel like my personality comes alive in the spring and summer. It's fizzling out after my birthday in October. Like, it's just done. Today's a sunny day, which is partially why I probably feel really good. I also did a workout class today. I've done self-care already. I couldn't even take a nap because I was so like, I should do yoga right now. I'm so excited. I've been hearing people on the internet a lot recently say like, my sparkle's back. I don't think it's back 100% yet, but I think it's like 80% there. And it went from like 20 to 80 this past week. I'm gonna get dressed so that I don't flash you guys and I'll be right back. Okay, before we get into it, let me explain what the purpose of today's video is. My last video was me doing a spring clean out and my room, I have actually kept it clean guys. I've been doing a whole bunch of things the past two weeks that have really been helping my mental health, my physical health, emotional health, spiritual health. And because in the past, I was like, how am I supposed to show you guys like my routine when I have no routine? Because I was just traveling so much. But now I have a routine and I'm like ready to show you guys. I wanted to make a whole video where I'm getting ready for spring. I'm springing forward. Before we begin, I'm gonna use the Superberry Hydrate and Glow Oil by Youth to the People. And I have two little tools here a gua sha and a face roller first of all mental health update i have been feeling really good recently in january i felt so sick and tired of being at home so i was so excited to like flee i just wanted to leave so i had new york booked and i had la booked and i just felt so tired like living out of a suitcase for like three weeks basically for the whole month of february i ate uber eats and skip the dishes when i came back my health was a mess my face was so bloated i hadn't been working out i just didn't feel good i felt like i was just like falling behind on everything and i I was definitely dehydrated. I never get acne and I had so many pimples on my face. Ever since I've been home, I've been, feels like nurturing my body back to health. Like if I was a little baby, I'm like taking care of myself, watering my plants. Cause I'm like, girl, I'm sick and tired of feeling like this. Let me tell you what I've been doing. One, I've been drinking a lot of water. I've been cutting out dairy because dairy makes me not feel good. Eating less out. So I haven't been ordering food. I've been skipping out on like, if I go to workout class, getting like sushi after. I've not been doing that. I've not been going out and like drinking because that's definitely not better for you. I've been doing my skincare routine, slugging my face with moisturizer and Vaseline. I've been not wearing makeup, going to the gym a lot. I've been doing a lot of weight training and cardio and workout classes and a whole bunch of yoga. I'm obsessed with yoga. I, you guys know that, but I've been going like so often, reading more, doing my bed, keeping my room clean and just doing the things that seem like the bare minimum. But for some reason, when you're out of a routine, they feel like impossible to do. But I've been doing all those things and it reminds me of those TikTok that are like when you do everything right and you suddenly feel better and the audio is like who would have known or something like that like I obviously if I do all the right things I'm gonna feel better and I do feel so much better I feel lighter I feel like I've been getting better sleeps that's still something I need to work on but anyways I just feel so much better my skin oh my god I'm so happy when you're working out you always feel better about your body so like you know I look in the mirror and I'm like okay girl and I've just been more conscious about what I'm eating not restricting myself or counting calories because that is something that I will not be doing but just being more like do i need this do i need the extra saucy oily thing you know what i mean just being intuitive with my eating and eating whole foods trying to cut out sugary drinks and juices and the only thing i need is the weather but like everything else i feel like is a lot better I'm currently parked outside of my yoga studio right now. I've done my little morning routine today. You know, the classic, getting the vitamins, doing my hair, doing my skincare, doing my ice roller, doing my gua sha, all of the above. Next up in my day is to do yoga. Now, I don't know how much I'm gonna get to film when I'm in there because, you know, the whole point of yoga is to be present and not really filming yourself because I feel like subconsciously you may act differently and it's not really as meditative as it's supposed to be. But this is a part of my daily 
routine that has made me feel a lot better and I've actually been doing it since November so five months I've been doing this I've been taking it as a hobby of mine and I've realized that having hobbies is really important and I feel like going into the spring is just a perfect time to pick up a new hobby something that I really want to pick up which I'm on the verge of like I've been looking online looking at places is pottery and like ceramic I think it'd be really cool to do a class so we might actually sign up for that later today but the yoga that I'm gonna be doing today is vinyasa yoga which is my favorite type I also normally do like hatha which I think is a little bit more low-key uh, vinyasa is more like you might burn up a sweat in there you might build some heat in your body as they say you do breathing exercises kind of at the same time as you do motions like there's breath work involved I feel like I've gotten so good at being able to block everything else out and just to be in this meditative zone which sounds very like Maybe in the near future I'll be able to show you guys but I've honestly improved so much and I'm really proud of myself I think now I'm gonna go to the grocery store I'm so sad I just saw that someone dropped a flower bouquet on the road and everybody was dodging it and I was like oh my god I'm gonna park my car and see if I can pick it up because maybe it was meant to be and it was like a sign from the universe but in the time that I parked and got out of my car somebody else picked it up so that's awkward but anyways I'm at the market I'm gonna buy some food I don't think I'll do all my groceries here because I think it's just like veggies and fruit but then we'll go to a different market Check out the cute flowers I got. These are adorable. I got these last spring and I've never seen these before, but they're just so cute. They look like little lavender, but I don't think that's what it is. I have these two vases and this. So we're gonna put these in some water and set them up in our room because lively things make you feel happier. Like when you have green plants in your room and flowers, it just feels so spring. And these flowers scream spring to me. Or I feel like some tulips would be super cute. <laughs> I also thrifted these vases. There's so many cute glass vases that you can thrift and that other one was from Ikea. Here is the grocery haul. Got some strawberries, apples, kiwis, pineapple, kale. I'm obsessed with kale salads. Ginger is so good for juices and just in general. Cucumbers, mangoes, galleons, I think. Limes, of course. Bananas, bok choy. This is like a new fave vegetable of mine. It's so good. I also got these. I've never had these before, but they are rainbow baby carrots. Also some medium firm tofu. Some edamame as like a quick snack. I also got some dates, which I've never got before, but I really want to try the dates with almond butter. So I got that. This is super cool. It's like a Korean pear or something. Coconut water. This I'm so excited for. Oh my gosh. I think I might need to do a taste test of this. And then as another snack, just some chili lime chickpeas. We are going to make a meal together, but I just want to have a taste test of some of these snacks first. Dairy free. Oh, wait, is it? Oh no. Yeah, I think so. It's gelato, right? No, I meant to grab a sorbet and I got the one with milk. Okay, well, I've been trying to eat like not dairy, so. Well, obviously it's delicious. What a fail. Dairy just makes my stomach hurt. So good though. It's actually my favorite flavor of ice cream. My deepest apologies, my camera just died and I wanna keep the show going. So we're just gonna vlog on this camera. My plan for right now, I'm gonna drink a whole glass of water and I'm gonna cut a lot of these fruits and put them in little jars so that they're easy to eat and that I will actually be motivated to eat them. And then we're gonna go on to making our breakfast. taste test. Mm. 
so fire. I honestly haven't had a pear in so long. Tell me that doesn't look appetizing. This is such a good hack to eating more fruits and vegetables because it just looks so pretty and you want to eat it. snack looks like. I've seen many people on TikTok put chocolate over them, but I'm just going to leave them like this for now and put them in the fridge. I also have recently just gotten this pan from our place and it's the best thing ever. It's so easy to clean. Starting off in downtown Vancouver. It took me like 40 minutes to drive here. I was stressing because I thought my class started at 11:30 and it is 11:30, but it's actually at 11:45. So even better. Workout classes have really been motivating me recently, and there's this gym called House Concepts, which I have like an influencer pass to, but the gym is like insane. It's kind of like an Equinox or one of those if you've seen those. But I'm not sure if they have like a free weight gym. I just know they have a bunch of classes, and my friend Cam used to teach here. But I'm doing a class today called Peach Season by this girl Jade, and I'm a little bit scared because it's probably gonna be really hard, and I'm really excited to get a sweat in. I might go on a walk after because it's just so beautiful here. I can literally hear all the birds and it just feels so much like spring. I'm just so excited. I feel like the birds chirping just automatically makes you feel so much better. Also guys, I need to update you on my moving situation in Vancouver. We'll be having a whole video on like the moving process and like apartment hunting and stuff, but I do want to just give a little update and say I've been looking for apartments since like January and honestly I've had like no luck. It's really, really hard to find a place in Vancouver and all the places that I found that I actually like have just been taken right under me like somebody else gets it, but I'm really hoping that I find a place It's also a sunny day, which is the first time in like days. So I think I'm gonna go on a walk or at least some fresh air. I even got to take some free flowers. What more did I ask for? like a comb over because this hair will not stick down. I am walking the seawall because I am lacking fresh air and I haven't taken a walk in Vancouver and I can't even remember the last time because normally I just go walks around where I live but I feel really good and I think I'm gonna do this more often. I think I'm gonna dedicate Sundays to my house concepts walk editing day. It's so pretty even if it's a cloudy day I feel good. I feel alive. <laughs> Yay, it stood up. 
<laughs> What's happening, Mishi? He's so sleepy. Hi, Okay, I've had this face mask on for quite a while. The last portion of this video, I kind of just want to talk about some nightly rituals that I've been taking in. Number one, tea. I've been obsessed with drinking tea lately, especially peppermint tea. Right now, I'm drinking a sleepy time tea, and it's supposed to make you go to sleep. I normally just have tea with hot water. Maybe I'll put a little bit of like artificial sweetener, like one or two drops, and I'll put some oat milk in there. Just a little splash. It tastes so good. Next favorite, I am currently reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. It's taken me a little bit longer to read this because I picked this up while I've been traveling but I'm like probably a quarter of the way in and I really love it so far and apparently they're turning into a movie so I highly recommend reading this book if you are in need of one always on the top recommended on TikTok, bookstores, etc. Next up is a diffuser. I have one that looks like this and basically you just put like water in there you put a few drops of essential oil and it just kind of diffuses in your room it smells really good it can help you go to sleep or other ones have different health benefits one thing I do want to say though is that apparently the essential oils are toxic for cats so I specifically bought ones that apparently are okay for cats if you guys know anything else about them you can leave it in the comments down below frankincense and lavender another favorite of mine has been I can't really show it to you guys but it's right here it's a weighted blanket but it's not fuzzy it looks like satiny my mom got this for me it's by the brand Luna but it's super thick and heavy and apparently there's like so many benefits it feels like a hug so it's made me sleep longer my sleeps have just been phenomenal let me tell you that get a weighted blanket oh I wanted to tell you guys I don't think I did so far in this video but I got little short nails which has been so cute and I'm obsessed with them they're just this blush pink and honestly i've been kind of just tired of the long acrylic nails so i wanted to give them a break for like a month and just get cute little gel nails and they give off such spring cute vibes i'm gonna walk you through a few of my goals that i put at the beginning of this month they were to drink more water sleep by 12 30 wake up before nine more standing and walking because i have really tight hamstrings and i've been sitting way too much so definitely more of that which i have been doing but doing my skincare routine consistently of course i have other goals that were number wise like hitting a certain amount of milestones on Instagram, YouTube, whatever, social medias, but we don't really need to go into those. Some things that I wanted to improve, I will say, were to be an active listener and to not just think about my responses when I'm talking to somebody, ask more questions to other people, post YouTube videos that I'm proud of, don't really look into my YouTube analytics or my Instagram analytics because for a bit there it was stressing me out too much and making me really anxious when it doesn't need to be. Keeping my room clean, more yoga and gym classes, be more present, practice gratitude, cook more, have more fresh air and eat less out so those are some of my goals i'm going to write out some new goals and i'm going to do some journal prompts and i'll have them up on the screen so you can see them as well mm -hmm.